I'd like to introduce to you a local millionaire. Her name is Buzzy. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Buzzy. Hi, Buzzy. Does he have air conditioning? Yeah. Will one of you working sorts go ask the mayor to turn on the misters? I'm not really going to say much here today. I get so emotional talking about my money. But you good people out there, you know who you are. The A-listers, you beautiful people at the top. You're who I'm talking to. You feel my pain. They want my money. Our money is under attack, thank God. We have John Boehner and Maggie Brooks to champion our cause. Absolutely. To complete the legacy of George W. Bush and move the rest of America's wealth into our capable hands. The unwashed masses cannot appreciate the glory of watching millions turn into billions. What do they know about investment returns, tax write-offs, overseas investments? They would squander America's resources, feeding their children, teaching them math and science, helping people too sick or old to work, I shudder to think of what will happen to America's resources unless we have people like Maggie Brooks in Washington to protect the interests of us millionaires at the top. Or, I blush to say, us billionaires. I'm on a limited income like everybody. I'm living off a trust fund. And I'm tired of worrying every time I buy another vacation home. It's not fair. Us rich have expenses that the working class knows nothing about. <laughs> this vicious talk about a progressive tax has me drinking more than I ever have. Do you know what the cost of a top shelf bottle of gin is now? <laughs> oh, he dear. Yes. Where's your... You Can you get me an olive? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> an olive, I'll give you an olive. Even John Boehner... Mark my fingers. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Even John Boehner gets upset about the cost of gin. <laughs> he gets all choked up. Now where was I? Oh, tax my millions. Get a grip. My great granddaddy built the textile mill that made our family so wealthy. And we did a community service. We got kids off the streets and working at the looms 12 hours a day, six days a week. <laughs> ah, those were the good old days before regulations. <laughs> But the news is not all bad. We have the lowest tax rate for the top 1% since the Depression. Once again, the elite have moved more of America's wealth into fewer and fewer hands. 1% of America owns 42% of the resources. That is something to be proud of. Governor Grover, <laughs> Grover Norquist, isn't he hot? He has driven moderate Republicans out of Congress. So now the GOP can shut down government the minute the Democrats bring up a progressive tax. We love Grover. Go Grover. <laughs> and my personal favorite this year, we had the Citizens United decision from the Supreme Court. Such a gift to us millionaires. We can buy elections now. 
I am so delighted. So, without a doubt, we can get Maggie Brooks to Washington. Maggie. I have a new pamphlet I want you all to look for this fall, okay? Owning politicians for fun and profit. Elected officials are so cute when they're new to the job. here without signing our petition to suppress voters here in Rochester, New York. John Boehner has helped suppress voters in states all across the country. Certainly, he can help his friend Maggie Brooks keep the riffraff from voting here in Rochester. We will be passing this around shortly. In any case, I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all sincerely for showing up today, cutting your golf luncheon short. Pull out your checkbooks now. I'm going to be collecting donations for Maggie Brooks. It's a guaranteed 700% investment return every year. Pull out your checkbooks. Thank you all.